Hey, Loopline here, and I wanted to go over the fake PR add-on. So if you don't have the add-on installed, go to add-ons menu, show available add-ons, and then just find the fake pay drink checker add-on when that comes up and install it in the list there. Once that's installed, you go to the Scraybox fake pay drink checker add-on, and this is what you're going to get. Basically, it says be aware that if you can't get proxies from Scrapebox, then you probably shouldn't use this with your real IP. So I don't have the use proxies box ticks, so I can click OK and it'll bring it up anyways, but let's tick it off. Now these proxies are public proxies, and some of these are OK, but some of them aren't very good, um, and they may very well be Google blocked, and it uses Google to obviously test if it's fake PR because PR is to do with Google. So let's load the fake PR add on here. And I'm going to bring in URLs from the Scrapebox Harvester, just what I have back here, and hit start. And no cache means that there's no cache in Google for that particular URL utilizing that particular proxy. So Scrapebox uses the cache in Google to determine if PayDrink is fake or real. So this no cache me thing could mean that there's actually no cache, because for some pages there isn't. But for things like um, speakeasy.net speed test and these other some of these others I know that there's a cache form because I've checked in this case it means that the proxy is bad likely Google banned so you can recheck not completed um, we can load from various sources like file poster list and the harvester and of course we get connections uh, I can also look up the actual PR but once I'm done I get the export and I can send it back to Scrapebox or to a file or to Excel. But let's do this. Since it's a small batch I'm gonna go ahead and use my real IP. And click OK, load from the harvester and hit start. And you can see this is what will happen when you have either your real IP or good proxies. And the reason you wouldn't want to use your real IP is because it is using Google, so you're going to get your real IP Google, Google banned pretty fast, and then they're going to come back and say no cache. So using some good proxies, um, shared or private, or some good Google press, past proxies uh, is the best thing to do here. And then you can always export them and fake and real, and you can export the fake and then recheck them just to make sure that you're getting accurate information before you just throw out domains. But So this can be handy if you're buying domains, if you're just looking at uh, domains in general for um, doing whatever in the way of link building, especially stuff like this. If I was going to buy a link, for instance, on a PageRank 8 page, uh, and obviously java.com is legit but I could you know check it out to make sure that I'm not buying a link on a page that doesn't really have that page rank so it's useful for many things and that is how the fake PR checker works